Welcome to Excel Magic Trick 1904 and 1905, 1906, 7 and 8. Over the next five videos, we're going to do something simple. We're going to take a column of text or numbers or values and simply split the values by a delimiter. But there are lots of ways to do this, and each way has a great benefit. We'll see text split, text to columns, power query, and then we'll do the impossible. We'll actually split and spill an array of arrays, and we'll do it two ways. But in this video, we're going to check out the amazing text split function. Now you can download this Excel file and a link below the video and follow along. Now on the sheet four to eight, we have all five examples. And the first one is relatively simple. We're going to use the text split function. Now this column has all the values and a delimiter is just, hey, what is the character or set of characters that separates the bits of data that you want to separate? For us, it's a comma space. So I'm going to click in the cell directly to the right of the C column and type an equal sign text. And there it is, text split. The text, well, as we will see in a later video, I cannot highlight all of these values and spill the results. Because guess what? Text split is going to spill this way but it would also need to spill that way. And dynamic spilled array formulas cannot do that directly. But we'll see two different ways that we can get around that. So when we use text split, no problem. Just click on the first cell, comma, the column delimiter. That's what we want to split by, in double quotes, comma, space, in double quotes. Now, there's lots of other groovy arguments in this function. Row delimiter, we'll use that uh, three videos ahead. We can say to ignore empty. We don't have anything empty, case sensitive or not. And finally, pad width. That's when you get n errors and you want to replace them. And we'll definitely have to do that a couple videos ahead. But that's the formula. It's that simple. Close parentheses, Control Enter, and bam, just like that, it split. I can copy this down, click and drag. Guess what? That removed that line, and I want that line, so I'm going to say fill without formatting. But there you go. In every single cell, that simple formula split, no matter how many values there were. All right, now we used a formula here, and we want to use formulas when we want the formula to instantly update when source data changes. Or there's another example also. I think in this case, text split is just super fast. In our next video, we'll see text to columns, which might be easier, but it's a toss up. Now, here's what I mean. If I change this, right? It doesn't matter what I put there as long as the delimiter is intact. Bam, the solution instantly updates. And certainly that is the big benefit of using text split over text to columns or Power Query. Now here's your bonus. What if you text split and you got some numbers and all you want to do is add? Alt equals, well, I'm going to highlight. This is the sum function, Control Enter. Copy it down, F2. What? How come I'm getting 0? Well, any text function, whether text split or text join or left or right or mid, they always deliver text. And a text number is not a number. But there's a great trick, F2. You can convert any text number to a number as long as you use a math operation that doesn't change the value. So you can plus 0. Notice the plus is what's going to convert it. The 0 means I ain't changing the value. Control Enter, and immediately right alignment tells you it's a number, and sum agrees. Copy it down. F2, so that's the trick. If you're splitting and you need numbers, either plus 0 or times 1, F2. You could even do double negative if you have a lot of values. This actually calculates more quickly. All of those are math operations that don't change the value. Control Enter and convert text numbers to numbers. 
All right, we'll see you next video for more value splitting fun. Thank <music> you.